Good morning, and welcome to the 2021 Major Stephen Reich Memorial Award. My name is Michael Kirsten, and I'm sorry that we cannot be together in the Chapag Auditorium as in years past, but I'm very confident that next year we will all be gathering in person once again to present this award to an outstanding student who displays character, service, leadership, and achievement in the honor and spirit of Stephen Reich. I wanna commend and congratulate not only this year's recipient, this year's senior class, but the entire student body, the faculty, the teachers, and the administration for keeping our kids in school and understanding the importance of in-school learning. I wanna congratulate and wish Principal Gallo a happy and fulfilling retirement. Principal Gallo, you have been a great supporter of this committee and this award ceremony. I will miss your opening remarks, and I especially will miss your remark about being a proud Marine mother. I wish you all the best and a happy and healthy next year. Go Spartans, and be well. Each year, our school community comes together to celebrate the characteristics we value most, embodied by the life and legacy of Stephen Reich. Each year, I find myself reminding you not only about the life of our revered graduate, but of the spirit of service that the Reich family has so generously given you. A family who created joyous and important celebrations out of unimaginable loss. Each year, I am in awe of the process that is inspired by Stephen Reich. I love to read the tributes that teachers and students write about those who they wish to be considered for this prestigious honor. I read about how each of you who are nominated have made a difference at Chapag. For each of you that are nominated, be proud of what others see in you. The character you display, your kindness, your support of others, your willingness to take risks in service of learning, you are known for putting the needs of others above your own. Your commitment to service extends to your friends, your classmates, your community. You embody the old saying, if you wish to get something done, ask a busy person. You are never too busy to serve. The leadership you have shown us is inspiring. You are considered a role model by your peers because you unfailingly seek to do the right thing. You lead by providing a positive example for your peers to admire. You are confident and unafraid. And like Major Reich, you perform well in the most difficult of situations. Your achievement is undeniable. In a time of uncertainty, your character, service, and leadership have shown above all others, above our fears, above our uncertainties. When we reflect about the qualities that define the very best of our Chapag culture, we think about you. Ray Reich, Stephen's dad, described his son as a pitcher who always wanted the ball, who was not afraid to take on a challenge, a person who was known to perform best in adversity. Sue Reich described her son in a story about the time he carried the flag at the World Games, an honor to which he was selected by his teammates. Sue a competitive Spartan herself, worked her way to a perfect spot to take her son's picture as he led his USA team into the arena. She described a special moment, which she captured in a now iconic picture. Stephen spotted his mother for a brief moment, and he is seen in that picture, flag proudly in hand, smiling broadly. Through Sue's story, I now think of that picture as a special moment between a mother and son. Thank you for the memories of your son and the pride I feel in being a part of this amazing legacy of the Reich Award. This Marine mom, this Navy daughter, and a grateful nation, thank you for your sacrifice. What you have given to Chapag will forever be among my fondest memories of my principalship. And so, my dear students, remember the life lessons that we are privileged to learn through this ceremony and the process that led us here. Take the time to reflect on your contribution to our school. What have you received? What have you given back? How do you show 
your character, service, leadership, and achievement. What will you contribute next? Most of all, remember the motto of Major Reich and his Night Stalkers, never quit. To each of you, Spartans one and all, I say, never quit. On behalf of the committee, I would also like to thank the first 15 recipients of the Major Stephen Reich Memorial Award. They have all sent in a small video clip commemorating this award. Character, service, leadership, and achievement. These honorable qualities were ones that Major Stephen Reich embodied and with which he was then able to inspire generations of Chapag students. If I were to highlight one of these qualities that I believe stands above the rest and is in fact the origin of the others, that quality would be service. Serving your community, serving your nation, and in some small way serving the world, that is what we are here to do. So ask yourself, how can I contribute? What strengths and skills do I have that can make my community a better place? How can I best serve those around me? We don't necessarily see the impacts of our deeds and contributions, certainly not immediately, and sometimes not even in our lifetimes. If only Stephen Reich could have seen how he has inspired all of us. It's by maintaining that service mindset and focusing on how you can make your corner of the world a better place that you will have a positive impact beyond your imagination. So I'd like to finish by asking, how will you best serve? Happy Memorial Day and God bless. I am streaming to you from Duress, Albania, executing joint logistics over the shore in support of Defender Europe 21. I am happy to be able to join you on this day of somber celebration of Major Stephen Reich. Major Reich has served as a constant source of inspiration for me. He lived a life of character, service, leadership, and achievement that I try to emulate daily. These characteristics are well recorded in a 2017 article published by retired Major Matthew Brady, who served under Stephen in Afghanistan. There was one item in this article that stood out which I encourage everyone in the audience today to consider, particularly the seniors. Stephen's final lesson to then Captain Brady was to quote, find those beliefs that drive you, that wake you up in the middle of the night crying, that you'd be willing to go to the ends of the earth for. Find this purpose, continue to find this purpose, your will to power. Once you start going down this path, you will begin living a life of meaning, like Stephen did. To the Reich family, know that I am thinking of you on this day. And to the entire Chapag community, I wish you all the best as we move forward in this uncertain time. The attribute embodied by this award that I see counting most in my adult life is service, especially over this past year with COVID. I'm a nurse in New York City, so I saw firsthand what everyone in the medical field did and the sacrifices that they made during the pandemic to be of service to their community. Um, in almost every job, whether you're an architect, whether you're a mechanic, whether you're a teacher, or you're working for a startup, comes down to being of service in some way to your community. And I think that's really important to remember after hard days or really long weeks at work, um, what you're doing is bigger than yourself and ultimately is for the betterment of your community. Major Reich embodied the idea that it's not enough to just live. You have to live with a purpose. And when I think of that, I think of finding someone in need and doing whatever you can to help them, even if it's small. Service to others allows you to find yourself. It allows you to see your strengths. It allows you to see your weaknesses. And it allows you to overcome struggles and misfortunes that you might have in your own life by seeing the people that you help thrive. What an honor it is to be able to speak to you all and join 
in the remembrance of Major Stephen Reich. Stephen is truly a role model and an inspiration to all of us. He led by example in leadership, kindness, courage, putting others first, standing up for what is right. These characteristics that he showed helps to shape us individually and as a community. His example reminds us to constantly grow and to continue to improve ourselves. All these qualities we should strive to do every day, whether it's small acts of kindness, showing support to your family and friends, or embracing challenges. Stephen in this award reminds me to this day to not be afraid of something new, whether it's moving somewhere new, traveling somewhere new, starting college, starting a new job. He reminds me to always accept the challenge in front because it's always an opportunity to learn and you can only grow from it. There really is no such thing as failure. It's always, always a learning opportunity. What I've learned about Stephen Reich is he never shied away from a challenge and the chance to grow. That is something that you all have also done throughout your time learning during a pandemic. And it's something I encourage you all to continue to do throughout your time at Chapag and after in your next adventure. Congratulations to the Reich Award recipient of this year and congratulations to the graduating class of 2021. Now that I've been out of high school for a little over 10 years, I look back at my time at Chapag and I feel this assembly is the most important event that happens throughout the course of the school year. I still feel honored to be able to attend this assembly every year. As a freshman, I was standing at baseball practice and Coach Workhoven read us a letter Stephen Reich wrote. I remember it to this day. Do right over wrong, even when no one is watching. My example of this is simple. Would you pick up a piece of garbage on the ground when someone is watching you? Most would say yes for the simple fact the other person watching would praise you for doing something good. Would you do the same even if no one is watching because it's the right thing to do? I know Stephen would. What I have found that's really important since graduating high school um, is a hard work ethic, is being kind to others, is being open to learning and to growing. Those are qualities that employers look for. Those are qualities that friends look for. Those are qualities that colleges look for. So what, what do you want to accomplish in your life? What is your purpose? What, if, what is your life mission? And you don't need to know what those things are right away, but working towards finding out what those things are, I think is, um, is really important. Um, so my message to this year's high school students is to keep being you, keep being kind, be open, be willing to put in the work, and um, if you can just continue to find the things that light your soul on fire and give you passion. While I have seen these attributes continue across my adult life, I also think that they can be applied on a daily basis as we navigate the challenges of life. They can guide us to find purpose and meaning. Finally, my message to high school students is to always strive to be the best version of yourself while also staying true to who you are. These traits are what made Stephen the person that he was, and they are what pushed him to be the best version of himself. I challenge each of you to try to implement these attributes into your lives and push yourself to be the best version of you. But it's important to always remember who you are and what you stand for so that you make an impact on this world just as Stephen did. Be brave. If there's one thing I've learned since being at West Point, it's that you cannot see success while simply being comfortable. The only way to truly test yourself and your character is to do things that you could never imagine yourself doing. Be a sacrificial leader. Major Stephen Reich was a sacrificial leader. Even in the toughest moments of Afghanistan, he cared more about his men, his mission, and he cared more about his nation. Put others before yourself. Put your community before yourself. And set the standard for the underclassmen. I cannot tell you how powerful it is to be a quiet leader. They don't have to scream in your face to get their point across. They don't have to be the most popular. They don't have to be class president, but they are approachable. They are kind and they are motivating and they certainly set the standard for their class. 
The attributes I've noticed that count in my adult life are adaptability, dependability, and being a leader. I'm a nurse, so being able to effectively change how I originally thought my day was going to go is important. I need to be able to quickly change how I'm caring for my patients when a patient starts to show me that he or she isn't getting better, not only to keep the doctor updated, but also to keep my patient safe. Along with that, my patients and their families depend on me to be honest with everything that's going on and keep them updated so they feel informed. Leadership is also important because I get to help new nurses settle into the job and guide them through the tough times. So being able to clearly and confidently communicate to them as a leader is very important for me. In the end, adaptability, dependability, and being a leader have absolutely helped me succeed in my adult life. Since graduating in 2015, the ones I hold most dear in my life all exhibit amazing character. Studying at university, character was showing support and kindness when the stress of studies was bearing down, while working character was aspiring to do your best for the sake of doing your best. And finally, character to me has been admitting when I'm wrong, learning from my mistakes, and growing each day. These were aspects of Major Stephen Reich that I've seen in countless others, and I hope others will see in me. I want you to know it gets better. Life in its myriad ways will push you to learn and grow. Character, service, leadership, and achievement crop up daily in how you treat loved ones, how you approach the communities you live in, and how you value both your own successes and your failures. No one is an island, and while congratulating this year's winner of the Stephen Wright Memorial Award, I also wish to show my gratitude to a community that fosters kind and inspiring leaders of tomorrow. I've been out of high school for 10 years now and I can honestly say that each day I reflect on how I can improve my character, serve my community, demonstrate leadership, and strive to achieve my goals. As a special education teacher at Danbury High School, as a young adult and a community member, my character is always being tested. At these times, I remind myself that this is a growing opportunity in just a small moment in time. It's about how you react to these moments and how you respond to them. Leadership can be used in every aspect of your life. You can be your leader in your friend group, within your family, or even at school. If you are willing to listen and learn, communicate clearly, do your absolute best and strive for authenticity, then you too can be a leader. Talking about your successes can be tricky at times, but being humble is more attractive. Setting goals for yourself and achieving them is a huge deal. Setting goals for yourself and having a meaningful support system will allow you to continuously grow each and every day. I'd like to leave you with this. Be brave, be bold, be kind, like Stephen Reich was. And in the words of Mae West, you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. As you all graduate high school and move on with your life, making that choice to do the right thing only gets more difficult. I encourage you all to be that leader, do the right thing. You may be surprised how many people will just follow behind. They needed someone to start it and you all can do it. Shapog, Stephen Reich, and all that the Stephen Reich Award stands for taught us the attributes of achievement, leadership, character, and service. Carry them with you. You may be surprised where you'll end up. Now, as you move forward into the next stages of your life, there's gonna become a time when you realize that you can be whoever that you want to be. And it's our hope that you remember this day and continue to hold yourself to such high standards and elevate those around you to the same standards. I encourage you to take risks. Talk to people you don't normally talk to, stand up for what's right, and most importantly, motivate and inspire your peers around you to be the best versions of themselves. That's the key. It takes a team to be successful, so connect with and motivate the people around you. Stand up for what's right and continue your leadership development wherever you go. That's what Stephen Reich would do. First of all, congratulations to all of you for making it through the last couple of years. I know it hasn't been easy. Congratulations to all seniors and good luck in your future endeavors. 
While thinking about what my message should be to all of you on this day, many thoughts went through my head. However, I kept going back to my original message. And while it's a simple one, I think it's really important. This is a phrase that I remind myself of often, and it has made me who I am today. My message to you is daily decisions define. Yes, big life-changing decisions have a huge impact on your life and who you will become. But the small daily decisions that you make define who you are. Some of those decisions are so small that you may not even realize you had to make one. Do you help somebody struggling to load groceries into their car or walk past and head into the store? Do you hold the door for somebody that's just a little too far behind you? Or do you pretend you didn't even know they were there? Do you make eye contact and say hi while passing somebody in the hallway? Or do you keep your head down and headphones on? Do you stop and help the old man shoveling around his mailbox? Or do you continue on and be thankful you aren't in his shoes? Do you start the first minute of your day with positivity or negativity? These are just a few examples of so many decisions that we all face on a regular basis. With that, my challenge to you is to simply think a little bit more about each small decision that you make. Daily decisions define who you are. I am honored to announce this year's winner of the Reich Award. This person was nominated by a wide variety of students and staff, and I feel that those are the words that matter. Even when this person was not captain in name, everyone saw her as captain because she was just someone who took charge and brought our team together. She was always the first person to cheer someone on. I have watched her as she taught others about her favorite sports, never belittling those who are just learning or not as strong as she. Someone I look up to. I would say her greatest achievement though is the fact that she doesn't strive to do well for praise or rewards. It is just part of who she is. Dedicated to achieving her fullest potential and will not accept anything less than her personal best. At a time when we searched our Chapag community to find the person who best exemplifies the qualities of Major Reich, it is not surprising that this young woman emerged. My heartfelt congratulations to Brooke Donahue. Thank you for what you bring to our learning community. Congratulations on being selected as this year's Stephen Reich Memorial Award recipient. You were selected because your sense of service, character, and achievement resembled the same characteristics that were found in Major Stephen Reich. You should feel an immense amount of pride. Congratulations to this year's recipient. This award is so incredibly special and is such an honor. So congratulations to you and your family. To the recipient of this year's Stephen Reich Award, you should be really proud of yourself. This is such a meaningful recognition and one that says a lot about who you are. I want to thank all the servicemen and women on this Memorial Day, especially all those that lost their lives protecting our freedom. This Monday is not about having a day off, but remembering those individuals that lost their life. We owe it to them to get out to your local Memorial Day parade and remember their sacrifice they made for you and this country. Congratulations, Brooke, and congratulations and best wishes to the class of 2021. This award reminds us of what we value as a community, of who we are and what we can be. To be bold, to be kind, to use failure as an opportunity for growth, to work hard to achieve our goals, to develop our leadership skills and set a positive example, to look out for others and put their needs before our own, to think about our daily decisions, to be our best selves. So as we remember and reflect on the service and sacrifice of Stephen Reich, 
we also remember he was one of 19 U.S. servicemen, Army Night Stalkers and Navy SEALs, who lost their lives that day defending our freedom. This day, this award program, is a way to honor not only Stephen, but all who have given their lives for our country. Let us remember the importance and significance of Memorial Day, and let us remember and honor those who have died for our country. To all those who serve and all who have served, we are a grateful nation. Thank you.